afternoon folks. I thought I would do a different daily devotion today. Because you see today I'm sitting out in the Christchurch parking lot. And I'm sitting here out, out here today because we're collecting food for our d and You can see behind me I think some of the food we've already been brought in. I'm out here from 11 to 1. But I've been doing it because throughout this COVID-19 crisis I've been concerned about my sisters and brothers. I've been very concerned about our sisters and brothers who perhaps have lost their jobs. People who have always perhaps struggled with having their needs met, particularly food. I think especially the little children who I know many have getting, been getting their food through the school system and other ways. But, you know, as we've stopped meeting for in-person worship and our unable to do many of the things we used to do out of our building, I've been, I've been worrying about those people. And I've been worrying about them because they're part of who we are. Because all of us are, are children of God. And I learned that our sister agency here in the area, our local district mission project, Heart and Hand, felt that they could use some food. I've always loved the name of that agency, Heart and hand. They've been here for a long, long time. I think I've known about them perhaps all of my adult life. But that name, heart and hand, isn't that what faith really is about? Because all of our faith is about our hearts. We give our hearts to Christ. John Wesley spoke of feeling his heart strangely warmed by the power of the Holy Spirit. And I know there are so many times when I too have felt my heart warmed warmed by the Spirit, warmed while in the presence of one of those saints. And so I love the fact that the agency begins with the heart, because that's how our faith begins, with a heartfelt response to the love of God. But the thing is, it doesn't just stop with the heart, does it? It continues on with the hands, hence the name of the agency, Heart and Hand. And by being here in the parking lot to collect food today, I, I feel like we as a church are being the hand of Christ. Something we feel called to do here at Christ Church as we live out our mission. If you remember, our, our mission statement is we're a community of faith, hope, and love serving as the hands of Christ. And so if you are able to, I invite you to drive by today and drop off a little bit of food. There, looking primarily for canned goods, uh, soup and fruit. Also things like macaroni and cheese or peanut butter or things that the kids like. If you have some time, I, I invite you to swing by. Like I said, I'll be here to one. But even if you can't, I invite you today to think about how you might be able to be the hands of Christ. I know today we can't do things like we used to. We have to be cautious. You'll notice I have a mask. I'm, I'm also wearing gloves because I'm wiping off all the food before I take it down to the agency. But there are lots of ways we can be the hands of Christ. Maybe our hands are being the hands of Christ when we push the buttons on our cell phone or our home phone and call our neighbor. Maybe we're being the, the hands of Christ as we pick up a pen and a piece of paper and go old school and write a loving note to a friend we haven't seen while we've been sheltering in place and at home. There are many ways we can be the hands of Christ. And if you know of ways that we here at Christ Church can do something even more so to help our neighbor, let us know. Because the thing is, our building is closed in some respects. We can't do the things we used to do. But the church never closes. Because the church is about us. It's about the people. This Sunday we celebrate the Pentecost Sunday and the outpouring of the Holy Spirit that formed this thing we call the church. Those people whose hearts are warmed and then go out and proclaim and share good news and give witness to our risen Lord. And so today let us all think about ways in which we can be open to that warming of our hearts and allow that spirit to move in us as we go out to be the church, not here in this building behind me, but where